So, here I am home. I used to be the artistic director here. And And you know what? It's so beautiful, I think we should get it back. Okay, that's what we'll, that's what we'll work on next. Okay, um, Anne has given it all away. She, you know how old I am. And <laughs> Doesn't it make you tired to think that Someone's done all that. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely to be here with you, and I am deeply grateful for this award. Um, I am a great admirer of the woman whose name is on the award. She was a very, very brave soul. And... And I hope I can be as brave when my time comes. So now, you know I'm 90, so I go back a long way. So I'm gonna tell you just two or three very, very short uh, episodes of this long life. <laughs> so I'm on the floor of a film. I don't remember what the film was, but it was one of the first ones. And there's a big... <laughs> there's a big man standing in front of me. And suddenly, he's very angry and he starts to shout. And he is shouting, if you effing Canadians, if you fucking Canadians <laughs> don't realize as soon as possible that you're nothing. We're bringing it all to you. So I wish you would just all shut up and go home. In the meantime, that's what I'm going to do, and off he went. So that's the first thing that I remember. <laughs> I went to my dressing room and waited for someone to come and get me. Second episode, I'm in X-Files, and I'm playing a marvelous part of an old lady who survived a serial killer. And um, David, David? Yes, exactly, David. So we, he's, the, he's the lead, he's the star. So I do my story, and the AD says to him, David, you can go and have a rest now. We'll just take Joy through this a few times. And David said to this man, what do you think acting is, for God's sake? I have to stay. Joy is the story. She's telling it to me. I have to be here to listen. So I'll be here. And... So that was the new American. And, um, <laughs> and it made all the difference in the world. So I remember doing the scene again and seeing him through past the sound people and the camera people and there he was and he was listening and by God, he's a fabulous listener. <laughs> and that is why he's where he is today. So let it be a lesson to all of us. So my third story is this. Suddenly I get an audition with Anne Wheeler and life changes completely because everybody is there that is there is Canadian. Now, whether that's the difference or not, I don't know. But I believe it's so, that we have our own industry now. We don't have to send everything down to LA on Friday anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And there I was with Mugda, with Anne, I call her Mugda, but with Anne Wheeler. And it was heaven, just bliss to be with her in that film. She may have mentioned it when she introduced me. Anyway, <laughs> now, in my family, we say there is a family that you're born to and a family that you earn on your way through. Anne is my family. You are my family, if you will. And I wish you all the best with all my heart. I, I met someone as I was coming in, and she said, what do you think? Or, no, maybe she didn't say, what do you think of UBCP? But, but a question that was very general. And I said, well, <laughs> without them, without our unions, actors would still be earning a dollar an hour. So I am deeply grateful to that. And that's, that's, uh, it's lovely to be with you. And I, that's wonderful, the noise you make when you do that. <laughs> I wonder if you would do it again, because as I came in the stage door, I met the backstage crew, and I go back to the beginning of my time in the Playhouse with them. So I'd like you to give them a final.